Hello and welcome to Simas Torah. This year is entitled Four Ways to Help Out a Hola and What Ill Sick Person. So it makes it quite clear, scattered throughout the Gemaras and the Shochanarach and other places as well. A person knows someone who's not well, who's sick, a close friend, relative. So imagine four approaches. One, be the person, the sick person's advocate. He's in the hospital, she's in the hospital, and it could be they're alone, or even maybe the husband is there, the wife is there, and they're all crippled. They just don't know how to deal with the system, and they're emotionally so overwhelmed. So go in as it simply as a visitor, but if you have the right relationship with the uh, hola, the sick person, and the family, and the relatives, be an advocate if you think that that could be help, helpful. Obviously, you must be sensitive to see if that's your role there. Number two, of course, Allah has a bikor hola, and person has to go ahead and do bikor hola. It's opening your day in the Shulchan Aruch, it's common sense. And the person, when he's doing bikor hola, Obviously, is make sure not to be a burden on the person. Tries to think of a conversation if that's where the person is at, and at that point, number three kicks in. He should dive in. So if he's diving for the person in front of the person, doesn't mention the name. Just like Moshe said about Mary, we're far no lie. Didn't mention the name because she was right in front of him. So to Hashem, please heal this person. You don't even mention the name. If one is not in front, then of course the Minagashkanas is to say the name of the person and his mother, make her a din, make her a din. It does not have to be from the mother. He doesn't even mention the idea of Dafka the mother in Kufyotet in the Arach Hashuchan, Arach Haim says, for the mother or the father. It's the same thing. However, Based on other sources, not necessarily primarily halachic, Rambam, Rif, Rosh, Shulchan, our sources, but others, the Zohar and other sources, there are hints that one should daven for the hola, the sick person, the son or the daughter of the mother. Yes, Hashem, Hashem, Shem, Satfilos, in whatever form the specific names take. If one doesn't know the name of the mother, it could say the name of the father. The Rav Nevensol talks about the Minag of saying Batsara. The Yaku Yisei talks about the minhag of saying Bat Chava in the case where we don't know who the mother is, what the name is. Whatever one's been, I guess I should ask the postdoc regarding what to do. B'nai Teiman actually says the son of the father. That is the minhag. Okay, each one according to the minhag. So, number one is being an advocate. Number two, for the whole of going to visit. Number three, davening. And then for the Ramon, the Shulchan Aruch, and Hilchos Bikor Cholim Yoradei Hashin Lamid Hey writes another idea is besides davening for the person is to go to a person at tzaddik, go to a tzaddik to daven. People say, oh, I thought that's just a Hasidish thing to go to a tzaddik to daven. No, it's in the Shulchan Aruch. It's codified. Of course, he may be under a high level of Ashkacha. He may have more divine providence. And having more divine providence, so you go and say, hey, please, daven for Plony, the son of Plonit. And yes, Hashem, between this four-pronged approach, Hashem will answer to us and help out our relatives, friends who are holding. It's Hashem next year. We'll talk about one other option, the option of changing one's name. Shalom.